people generally run this quest 8 to 10 times. And um, I got lucky, I actually picked up a party member who is actually running this quest at a pretty decent rate. A lot of people that you invite are really slow. So yeah, when you get a good party member, then it really saves you a lot of time. Each side takes about 7 minutes, 6-7 minutes, so it does save you some time. And for the Wizard King, which we have not gotten to yet, um, the best spell to use is Disintegrate. It'll kill him pretty quickly. And this is that room that I was talking about at the beginning. Um, when you kill a boss, uh, if it's the Wizard King, then the ceiling, the floor actually, does not break. So um, a room opens up and you can collect the scroll and finish the quest. But when any other boss dies, when Hafez the Lion or Hamid the Jackal die, the floor below you breaks, and you can walk into this room, which has two more shrines, and the treasure room, which has uh, loot in it that has some pretty nice named items, as well as um, you get an extra 1,000 optional EXP just for walking into it. But you have to kill all three bosses in order to, um, in order to be able to walk into that room. So we're back at the beginning. Dimension Door is a great spell here. Um, and we've got one more side to clear. And it looks like we're probably going to be both doing this side. And after that, um, this last side will be the Wizard King. So, um, and that'll be the end of the quest. And I'm guessing it'll probably be a 15 minute run, which is nice. Um, with three good players, you can actually get this down to about eight, nine minutes, probably eight seven if you're very good um and what that means is that you clear you all clear the three sides at the same time so you eliminate tons of downtime and you still get all that exp so you get um you get two thousand two thousand three thousand five hundred three thousand five hundred two thousand another three thousand five hundred and another uh one thousand so you get like twenty thousand exp um, in 7-8 minutes, which is huge. It's definitely some of the best EXP in the game. And that's why people love this quest. Not only is it super quick EXP per minute, but it's a ton of EXP. And all three sides are pretty much the same. You just kill the same undead, you open the same levers, same doors, same enemies. It's just doing the same thing three times.
I would definitely recommend that every person around level 13 to 14 run this quest. Um, it's just too, too good EXP to pass up. Definitely one of the best sources of EXP in the game. Definitely along the lines with uh, Shadow Crypt, which is also huge EXP in a very short period of time. And we are at the final fight here. And that's it. You pick up the scroll and you complete the quest. But I would not recall at this point because there's still the treasure room. And that's another 1,000 EXP. But we finished in 14 minutes, which is really nice. So that's pretty good. Let's see how much EXP. That's 2,000, 2,000, 2,000.